A tense standoff ensued between miners and the East Modded Gold Mine Management in Springs, east of Johannesburg, today. The standoff saw about 500 miners refusing to resurface and halting operations. We're joined by AMCU Regional Secretary Tladi Mokwena for an update on this story. Thank you so much, Mr. Mokwena, for joining us on Newsnight this evening. Um, so the National Union of Mine Workers is saying that these miners are being held underground against their will. Could you clarify for us firstly whether these more than 500 miners are all UMCO members, whether they are in fact still underground and whether they are underground of their own volition? No, good evening and good evening to your viewers. Um, indeed, I can confirm that the majority of the workers at Moda Gold have joined for UMCO. The company employs around 1,860 workers. 1,700 of those workers have joined AMCO. Can you confirm for us whether those more than 500 miners are in fact at this moment still underground? Uh, indeed, that I can confirm workers are, st are still sitting in underground. Uh, they've indicated that they will only come uh, 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 to surface. Uh, once uh, Mother Gold has granted AMCO the organizational rights. Can you just clarify for us what the demands are r around this standoff so that we understand exactly what they would like to happen? Look, workers are, are, are saying they, they would love to be recognized as members of AMCO. And they have indeed indicated on their numbers by joining um, We have been engaging with the company as of uh, April this year. We have submitted uh, stop orders to the company confirming that the majority of their workers have indeed joined AMCO. Um, we have been going up and down to the CCMA uh, trying to access uh, Motor Gold uh, uh, fighting for, 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 for the organizational rights. Uh, to a point whereby the company uh, has marched to the labor court trying to ensure that AMCO does not enjoy the organizational rights at Mother Gold. So therefore, workers have taken a decision to say no. Uh, they will only come out uh, from, from, from the underground once they, they are recognized as members of AMCO. We have heard reports that there have been injuries. Could you tell us whether that is in fact the case and, and what the conditions are underground at the moment? Um, look, we, we can't confirm any injuries. Throughout the day, we have been engaging with management and we have been requesting the management that we, we need to go underground and see those workers. Unfortunately, uh, to this point, we are unable to, to be able to go underground and actually verify whether there are injuries or not. Uh, at this point, that is unconfirmed. Does this standoff come uh, under the prompting of AMCO leadership for these mine workers to, to demand being uh, recognized as AMCO members and for the union to enjoy um, organizational rights within the uh, modern mine in, um, in Springs, or does this come completely out of the blue and as a surprise for union leadership? Look, for, for union leadership, this also came as a surprise to us because we have been engaging uh, with the company through the processes of the CCMA. In fact, on the 16th, uh, of this month, we served the company with a 48 hour notice uh, intending to go on a protected strike. However, the company then rushed to the, to the labor court interdicting that strike. At this point, we are still waiting for the outcome or for the judgment on that agent uh, interdict that they have uh, uh, filed for. So we were informed this morning that workers have actually taken a decision to sit in underground, indicating that they will only come out uh, uh, if AMCO is recognized at Gold One. Are, are you in communication with any of these miners currently underground? Come again? Are you in communication with any of the miners uh, currently underground to be able to be in a position to negotiate with them? 
Look, at this point, communication to, to underground has been uh, cut off. Uh, we are unable to, to communicate with the workers underground. However, we've been able to communicate uh, with workers who are on surface, who are also staging a stand-in in the operation on the, on the surface, indicating that they can only be addressed by AMCO and they demand that AMCO should be recognized at the operation. Obviously, these miners cannot remain underground for extended periods of time uh, for health and safety reasons, um, and that it would probably be best for them to be brought out to continue negotiations. What kind of uh, discussions are planned for tomorrow with mine uh, leadership to try and achieve that end? Look, our, our commitment and our indication was that we actually need to ensure that those mine workers are brought to surface. We have been demonstrating this throughout the day with the management and trying to find ways uh, as to how do we get these workers uh, to surface. Uh, it is unfortunate when you communicate with management that only recognizes you uh, when there's this kind of crisis is all along. These workers have been uh, indicated uh, as NUM members, but because now they are, are taking the stand, uh, they are then now recognized as AMCO members. Uh, we have been pushing management throughout the day to say we need to, 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 to go underground. We need to ensure that we talk to those members and then bring them to surface. So as it stands, we are unable to reach that because management has been uh, back and forth on discussions with ourselves. They will break up every discussions on the side with NUM, which we don't even know uh, a way forward with regards to their discussion. But our position has always been that we can't leave workers uh, uh, underground uh, not knowing even the conditions. Uh, mind you, those workers, uh, since they went underground last night at 8, uh, it's 8 on the next day, they are still underground. Uh, and we can confirm those workers have not actually been provided with food. We don't even know the conditions as to what are the conditions underground. Just to confirm, lastly, before I let you go, these workers, according to your knowledge, are definitely not being held against their will or being held hostage uh, below the surface. That we can confidently confirm that those workers are not held hostage. Uh, as I've indicated, the company employs around 1,860 workers. 1,700 workers of that company uh, have joined AMCO. How possible would it be that AMCO uh, held, hold its own members hmm. uh, at ransom? It can't be correct. Hmm. Thank you so much uh, for giving us some insights into the situation um, at the East Modder Gold Mine in Springs. Uh, more than 500 workers have now remained below the surface for over 24 hours. I will bring you an update on that story as it develops. AMCO Regional Secretary Claudia Mokwena speaking to us there.